So today we have an epic empties for you because of the fact that you've seen what I brought into my collection. Now you can see what's going out. Okay, so the first thing we have is the L'Oreal Ever Pure Conditioner. We got two of those. Those are about $10 a pop at the pharmacy. Do a lot of conditioner, especially in the winter time. Next, we have a Winter Citrus Wreath. This smells so good. Mom and I were very happy with this one. So, that's empty. I believe I got that on sale at Bath & Body Works. And then we have my Zon, uh Vita Lemon Sparkling Toner. It's um, quite an amazing product when you can find it. I keep finding this on the Myzan storefront on Amazon. And then we have... These are both glass jars. Then we have uh, two the Creme Shop Gel A Overnight Moisturizer. It's good. These are about $15 a piece. They come in glass. It's recyclable. It's very soothing on the skin at night. Then we have a Provence Beauty Deep Blue Cloud Moisturizer. Um, this is okay, but I didn't really like the scent of it. I think you have to be a fan of Herbs de Provence to enjoy the scent of this. But that's okay. Well, this was kind of disappointing. This was uh, Ice Lemon Pound Cake. They should have just called it Cake. Forget the lemon. There was no lemon to this. This was all gourmand cake, sugar. It, it was okay. I finished it. But not repurchasing, no. This is uh, another hand soap from uh, the White Barn Apothecary. Well, this is from White Barn, I guess, from the Bath & Body Works. It's a division of Bath & Body Works, I guess. It's in the Kitchen Mandarin scent. Smells just like a Hall's Vitamin C Drop. Um, super good. Definitely would repurchase that. This is a good citrus. This is not. This is a good citrus. This is not. And then we have the raw sugar, uh, sugar scrub in the lemon sugar scent. This is good. Um... The damage is because I accidentally dropped this on the floor. Oops. And then we have a tree hut. And this is in the bikini. Ooh, this is in the bikini reef smell scent. It's okay. It kind of smelled like wax and crayons towards the end. But maybe mine just went bad. I don't know. That retails for about $10, $11 at Ulta or Walmart. And then I have the peach sorbet. I think this is my second or third one of this. Definitely would repurchase that scent. This is gingham. I, um, I, I really like this scent. I know it's their signature scent and I can see why. It's very light and fresh and it smells like citrus too. So there's that. And then here we have another of the creme shop. This one has is another overnight mask. I really enjoyed that. And those are 14, 15 bucks a pop, I would say. Um, the packaging is recyclable, really, really weighty, really nice. Would definitely repurchase that. And then this is uh, um the Maison Snow Repair Eye Cream. This is another Amazon find. I really enjoy this. I did repurchase this. And here is the Innisfree Green Tea Seed Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, this is uh, great, but I can't justify the expense right now. This is $25 as opposed to the one I'm using right now, which is $15. But if I ever am in a financial position to buy it again, I would certainly do that. Uh, and then this is the Tony Moly uh, Lip Jelly Overnight Sleeping Mask. It's really, really good. I like the watermelon. This is so much better and cheaper than the Laneige sticker too. Would totally repurchase. 
And then we have the, oh, this is the Cremo Shave Cream. It was okay. Not impressed with it. I probably wouldn't repurchase this. It kind of, you know, I tried using it with water, no water. It just slid off the legs and I felt like it did nothing to keep the moisture in my skin while I was shaving. But, whatever. And then we have, last but not least, the Lime Crime uh, Gloss and Extra Poppin. This is uh, also one that I did repurchase, and I actually bought a color this time, so. Um, I bought it in Sweet Cherry this time around, so. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed uh, my empties, and if you enjoy this type of uh, content, where we, you know, can consume all the way before we repurchase something else if you enjoy that type of content stick around because you know i see so many beauty gurus and you know people you know holding up things that are not even finished and uh, they're like oh this is so good i'm like don't you want to try it a couple more times before you declare it's good Anyways, that's just my little pet peeve. Anyways, thank you for watching, and please be sure to like and subscribe to Justedra.